In this guided tutorial, we're going to set up your free GoDaddy Pop email account. First, we'll set it up, and then at the end, we'll talk about the difference between Pop email and IMAP email and workarounds for the two. To get started, when you're at GoDaddy.com, in the upper left hand corner, click on the gray Log into My Account button, enter in your username and your password. When you're logged in, in the upper left hand corner, click on the black My Account button. When the screen loads up, scroll down the left, you're looking for email in the list of products, and you want to click the little gray plus box on the left hand side of it you'll see here you have a uh, free email forwarding pack it's a 100 pack you can utilize that for a lot of addresses if you're a small business you can utilize that for your support at your domain address your customer service at it basically just forwards any email to those addresses onto another account today we're going to be setting up your free email address so it has a free email plan and you want the orange setup button on the right when the window pops up in the first drop down box we're going to select our region if you live in Singapore it's the AP or Asia Pacific region if you live in Germany it's the EU or European Union region for most of the rest of us it's the US so we'll go ahead and select that and then it wants to select the domain you want to associate the credit with this is not the domain that you have to use with the email so let's say you have three or four different domains and they're all very similar but you want to use all your addresses for the dot com you can absolutely can GoDaddy's flexible in that Go ahead and select the domain and click set up. It'll tell us the plan has been successfully added. We're going to want to refresh this screen. When you refresh the page and scroll back down, you'll see but right back in the same email section we have a new account this time. And we have the green launch button on the right. When the email control panel loads up, you have an icon on the left right here. It looks like a little man with a plus symbol next to him. It says create. Go ahead and click on that. It's going to give us a window. It's going to ask us what we're creating. In this case, it's a mail account. So mail's checked off. We're going to create a um, whatever you want here for an email address. We're going to go with info at, and you'll see that it's intuitive enough to know that after the add symbol, it shows one of our domains. So we'll be at a, we'll be info at guided tutorials one two three dot com. We'll set ourselves a password. You'll also notice these blue boxes that always show the criteria uh, indicate that these passwords are quite a bit less restrictive than the GoDaddy password. I'm still going to use a pretty decent one. confirm it down below you really don't have to make any adjustments um, make this a catch-all is pretty nice a catch-all is exactly what it sounds like basically when email is sent to your domain it's sent to your domain and then allocated to any available boxes if there are no available boxes it goes to a catch-all so if you have one address that's info at your domain dot com and somebody sends you an email uh, to support at your domain dot com, it doesn't exist. It'll still make it to your catch-all. So they're they're quite convenient. Um, send a copy to that's a CC. If you don't plan on checking this very often, which most people don't, you can set you know your favorite email address right there. Agree to the terms down below and click create. Once the address is created, you'll notice right off the bat that it's easily deleted and changed. Uh, you're not
going to log into it from here. The easiest way to log into it is go up to the top of the screen in your address bar and type in email dot whatever your domain is dot com. In this case will be guided tutorials one two three dot com. Hit enter on your keyboard or whatever go button you may have on your browser. When the screen loads up it'll take you right to the workspace email login. Sometimes you'll see a GoDaddy logo there. We're going to type in the username portion. In this case it's support. We're not going to finish it off because it already has at our domain.com below that. And we'll type in the password, whatever it may be. Hit the blue login button. The screen loads, you'll be logged in, and it looks like any other web based email client. It's pretty self explanatory. You have one welcome message from GoDaddy, which is meaningless. Um, this is Pop Email. I mentioned we would talk about the difference between Pop and IMAP. Your email is stored on GoDaddy's mail servers. If you use a Pop protocol to get the mail, you're going to download a copy to your local machine. And pot, you know these terms are just in relation to email clients, which I'll show you how to set up uh, in later videos. Email clients would be like your Apple Mail, Outlook, iPhone. With Pop, those clients download a copy and store it locally on the device. And that's okay, but when you say delete mail on your device, it won't be deleted here from the inbox like we just did the welcome message. It'll still be here. You'll end up with two copies. Um, the other protocol is IMAP, where IMAP leaves the mail on the server and the device just reads it from the server and then deletes it from the server when it's done with it. So if you make you know, a deletion on your iPhone, it's reflected here in the webmail as well. Um, so it's just the difference between how, you know, how often you use the mail, whether it um, matters to you or not, and the clients that you use and we'll set up clients in um, later videos.